coming to the mic Talking about the food they hate Talking about the food they like Two fools gonna fight But only one food can be right Taste buds, man, yeah, they're coming to All right, Tasties, welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds It's a big day, we are at the end The end Championship Of, uh, what was it, 16? Three weeks, 16 toys This is the final this is the fight. This is the this championship is battle. The dance. I honestly, I, I don't know if we're supposed to like kick off a different battle after this because we can't have the whole. We've talked about these things already. I've got stuff to take up some of our time. Okay, but there shall be no real debate here in this. Well, one. there'll be a debate. There'll be a debate. Okay, but we we don't know yet who the finalists are because Lego is going in, uh, and we think it's going in against Star Wars, but Star Wars and Etch a Sketch were so close. That we wanted to give a little breathing. We wanted room. to give a little breathing. Now, can we get an update on the Etch a Sketch? Yeah. Let's, Star let's Wars refresh. numbers. Okay. Okay. Star Wars is getting a little more ahead. Now it's 52.1 to 47.9. Oh, I didn't want to know the. Okay. No, we, we can check to see. Okay. But we think it's going to be Star Wars. Okay. Uh, the problem was it was 52 to 48. It went, it was up for such a short period of time. We thought it needed more breathing room. I can't, so we're letting I still it breathe. I can't believe that. I can't believe it's that close. That now is the hatred of st modern Star Wars coming out. Wow. It's got to be. It's got to be. Who the hell was like playing with an etch -a sketch more? But there know. were kids on that they're yeah. saying talking like it was a fancy toy they couldn't have. Yeah, I get. Was it? Oh, we got it. We did we think about the etch a sketch tournament that was supposed to announce? Oh yeah. So that's for <laughs> no, we didn't. But we'll just <laughs> <laughs> look. Here's the tournament. We're each going to get an etch -a sketch here at Taste Buds uh, LLC Incorporated. <laughs> We're each going to practice with it for a week. We're going to come back in. We're going to all V, Trevor, Steve, me, and Sal will have to draw on the etch -a sketch a, the, an a image. Logo. That's crazy. <laughs> Are you nuts? Look at the curves on that thing. Uh, yeah, maybe, they'll make the, maybe the shoe. Okay. That's way different. Maybe even just the no press. <laughs> Just the way it's written Block there. letters. I mean, buddy, it's it's a lot harder than you think. <laughs> Why don't we draw Ronald McDonald's face? Because you haven't brought him up in a while. All right. I mean, we could. That's hard, dude. But yeah. I, I don't think, what about the McDonald's logo? Yeah, I don't think we're going to have... What can you do in 10 minutes? What do you mean? We're not going to have... How much time are we going to take to do You're going to have to speed it up. I mean, we're not going to... You know, all we right. can't show it in real time. But, all right. All right. How about... But we'll set a timer. How about we pick... One food, like we all draw a cheeseburger or a pizza or something like that, you know? Okay. I don't know. All right. Well, the image to be determined, but... TBD. But what we will do is, obviously, we still need to get the extra sketch or whatever. So we will announce, this is happening, we will announce though when it's go time right? on an episode, and then from that episode, un well, it... But this is getting convoluted. We're yeah. here and we're now. Yeah. So, okay. So here's the deal. We're announcing this today, yeah. which means when you hear this today, which I believe is April 22nd, yeah. uh, you start sending your sketches, start sending them tomorrow yeah. or as soon as, as soon as today. Send them to the email address. You all yeah. have it. It's right here on the bottom of the screen. Take a look there. Send it there. Make sure you put in the subject line, etch a sketch contest, so we know. Start sending them sometime in the future. We don't know when, bear with us, but sometime in the future, we will be picking a winner and also Probably having, a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, might be a couple months. No, no, no. Let's just, let's just say loosey goosey. But, but the point is, is we are going to do it. Definitely. This is not done in vain. And, and that, and, when, and the, on the episode where we pick the winner, we will also do our own etch a sketch contest that we've already discussed. Correct. And we will decide what that, what that, what those stakes are in house. Yes. I think though, um, there's got to be a really good prize, I think, for maybe the winner or first. Well, we're going to determine. We want to be impressed. With creativity. Yeah. yeah. You know, we want to. We want to see, like, you know, we yeah. want to see skill level. Look, maybe you don't have a skill level, but you can impress us with your creativity. I don't know. I think outside the box, maybe it's something. <laughs> I'll tell you a prize. Unique, Ready? Right. Here's 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 the, what the full suite of here's what the merch. prize will be. Ready? Full suite of Taste Buds merch. Here's what the prize will be. Okay. Ready? Yeah. We will shout pick, out vid. We will pick five winners. And each of those winners will receive an etch -a sketch actually used by one of the Taste Buds <laughs> alumni on okay. there. Is that's, that fair? That's fun. I think it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I don't want to deal with any mailing. We'll get 
Uh, we'll get Trevor or yeah, yeah. V or Steve to do it, right? Right, right. Okay, good. I think we also <laughs> include like a, maybe we include a video and then some merch or something like that. Something. But we want to give them motivation to to do this. Guys, th th there's going to be a prize. Order yourself an Etch-A-Sketch. It the might store, be what I just said. It might not be. The point is just start, it's be sending, It'll be a good start sending the Etch-A-Sketch screen yeah. caps of what you're you doing. Know, you have plenty of time, right? Because it's going to be a few weeks. So if you don't have an Etch-A-Sketch, go pick one up. They're reasonably priced at a local market. I don't know if they are. Amazon. In 1960, they sold for two ninety nine, which in 2002 was $30. With so, I just got you aren't going for 30 bucks. There's probably a, a, a better uh, landing cost now for that company Fair these days. Uh, here's the thing. Um, if you don't have one, pick one up. Preferably go and support a mom and pop store and pick one up. <laughs> Versus what? But if you need the to big, order from the, the behemoth. The big evil chain toy stores that are well, out there? Well, if you need to order from the behemoth, you can. But Oh, oh, you mean not from Amazon? Yeah, I mean, do what okay. you gotta do. I, I mean, was gonna say, I mean, some people don't have the time. You're lucky if you find a, a, a KB at this point. I mean, yeah, they're, they're close. I mean, I mean you're a local shop. Uh, now, I have something else to also... Take uh, sixteen ninety nine at your local Target. That's your sketch. I mean, are you going to do the taste buds? Are, are you going to do one of a, a, a one of us, a portrait of one of us? They can do whatever they want, anything they want. The sky is the limit. Okay, and also, and it, the it doesn't ceiling, have to be. Yeah, uh, the basement is the bottom. Right. Go right. as low as you work to your abilities, and we'll judge whether you have any talent. Or yeah, not. And and and, <laughs> and actually, <laughs> another thing too is, um, we will show these. So we're not just going to show, like, we're going to show any ones that interest us. So if there's some really funny ones or really good ones or particularly odd ones or whatever, unique ones, we'll, we will definitely show these and comment on them on, uh, on an episode. It'll be that the, the Etch-A-Sketch app. All right. I have something over here that I brought specially on the show for the show today. Okay. It's relevant. Now I'm going to start handing you some clues. Clues? Yeah. Oh, I love clues. Let's start with this. I love clues. Okay, this is this seems like the New Orleans. What do they call that? The Florida de Lis? Is that what the kerchief? No, I, I know this is a kerchief. <laughs> <laughs> a kerchief. That is very funny. It's a kerchief. You call it a kerchief? Kerchief. Kerchief. I don't know. It's I got to be honest. I always thought it was a kerchief. You might be right. Can you type kerchief in and then hit uh, hit pronunciation? <laughs> I don't even. How do you? Speak? Just it's C E R. I'm sorry. K E R C H E I F. I, I believe. Now hit the hit that thing there, yeah. Kerchief, I could hear it. Kerchief, yeah. All right, kerchief. kerchief is more fun. Well, it's no okay, this is a, okay, okay. But, but this is not a a, a Fleur de Lis. Is that what it's called? Well, it does look like the New Orleans, but that is actually uh, a Cub Scout stamp. Oh, I know. I mean, that just gave it. <laughs> that just gave it away, right? You here. think it might have, but I don't know if you do know. It was Joe DeRo DeRosa's dad. At the Wee Blow Factory, <laughs> with the <laughs> with some stand-up uh, comic had that joke. It was so funny. He goes, "I joined uh, Boys Cub Scouts." He goes, he goes "We're Wee Blows," and he goes, "Not in my tent. We don't." <laughs> <laughs> Whose joke was that? That joke is so funny. God damn it! Uh, I know where this is going. This is the. This is going to be the. The, do you I say it? You may or may not know where it's going. Take a guess. I feel it's going to be the, the, the what do you call it? The stock car? The, the, the Pinewood Derby. The Pinewood Derby. The car that you and your dad Perhaps. made. Okay. Ready for the next clue? Wait a minute. It was this the kerchief that you wore? This is why they're clues. Please tell me Just that take you wore your this and please tell me you brought a photo of you in this at the time. Just take your guesses. All right. Well, right now I feel like I'm seeing part of your Boy Scout uniform. Okay. This also, now that I'm looking at it, this is handmade. This was probably the crest of your local organization, and you had to make a. So you had to make it. I don't know. What is this? I, you're not handing me something like a like a like a. <laughs> no, it doesn't have bed bugs right now. No, I didn't know if this was like a chalk strap or something. What the hell is this? Is it a hat? This is like a camo type of military hat, but it's for the size of a <laughs> my buddy. It might be a baby hat. I don't know. This, okay, so uh, now I'm getting confused because... Oh, wait. This is probably still your Boy Scout uniform. No? Could be. You Cub Scout. Remember, I was in Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts. That's which is the Boy youngest. Scouts. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this was a size of your head when you did Cub Scouts? <laughs> this, can't, this can't fit on... This, would, this is a newborn child size. I mean, we don't this know. This had to be your... You, looking at your head right now, if you ever wore this hat, it was in the womb. What's that? 
I said, looking at the size of your head right now, if you ever wore this hat, it was in the it was in the womb. Well, you don't know. Well, that was a fun little quip that you that you really. And I laughed. Like, oh, I know you did. Next clue. <laughs> yeah. I'm I am so confused right now, dude. I'm, did you steal a child? <laughs> <laughs> you just gave me the sock of a certainly. What would you do if I pulled a baby out of here? <laughs> I mean, we would. This would be a sweeps week episode. <laughs> this, this this is the sock of un, a zero to three month old child. Zero to three could months. be or oh, oh my god, oh my god, stop it! I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong, and I feel foolish. Tell me, <laughs> tell me that this is the outfit of a Cabbage Patch kid. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my god, the way he peeked out of the like, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is an aftermarket outfit. You made this outfit. I don't know where those came from. They didn't from. sell cabbage patch outfits for tea. My mom and dad maybe sewed outfits for Yeah, they didn't make fatigues. Well, he's got the pants on. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> where did you get your childhood cabbage patch Can from? I tell you something? Unbeknownst to my parents, that we had just talked about this on the podcast. No way. They showed up the other day at my house no way. with a box. No way. And while I was I gotta get mine. While I was cooking lunch for us, my dad came up behind me. Cooking lunch. And did a voice. Yeah, I was making like ravioli and stuff that for lunch. Had. Yeah. Because it was like a lunch dinner thing. Linner, okay. if you will. Okay. The uh I was cooking and my I'll, dad came I'll up lie. behind me yeah. doing a funny voice and he goes, Hey, he goes, Hey, did you make any food for me? And I I was like, what is he doing? I, <laughs> Such a dad. I know. And uh, I turned around and he was, hold, he was holding a... Did you freak? Well, hold on. You, you, you kept this from me. You probably yes, wanted to tell me that kept it from me. Yeah. I turned around and he was holding a Kermit the Frog that I had as a child. I got a Kermit too, bro. Yeah, and I was like, oh, wow, where'd you get that? And he goes, he goes, you see me, you see how I walked in with a box? And I go, yeah. And he goes, I got all your old stuffed animals in there. And guess what else is in there? Your Cabbage Patch Kit. And I go... You've got to be kidding me right now. You brought it? I go, we were just talking about it. The week before, he showed up with the Pinewood Derby cars. Right, right. That's which why I, the only reason I didn't bring those is because I actually kind of cherished them and want them. This will, on, this can, will he, stay. He can hear you. This stays in the studio. Okay. Sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, it does? Yeah, this stays in the studio. Uh, he should be the new man. I should get mine, and it's... The Oh, oh my God! There you go. Me in the day yeah. <laughs> Can I so, see him? Yeah, of course. Here you go. All right, come here, buddy. Does he still smell like baby powder? I don't know. He does. So is the diaper on? It smells like a mixture of dust. But guess what else I got here? Any, any basement dust no, and ba yeah. the basement and and baby powder or attic. And the hits powder. keep coming. Oh, I'll tell you. Hold on a second. Hold on though. Yeah. Because I didn't mean to look under his pants. Oh no! But <laughs> this was this this outfit was definitely not manufactured. No, outfit. This is a pajama fatigue, but. Underneath is the or <laughs> the original cabbage patch the original diaper. diaper. Oh, Look, wow. full Cub Scout uniform that I guess my mom crafted for him. For him, I guess. Do so, we remember yeah. his name? Well, oh, I'm we glad you asked. Sal. Name, number twenty-three. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's going up in the frame and behind me, like it's my doctorate. <laughs> <laughs> that's going up in a frame like it's a doctorate behind us. Remember, I couldn't remember his goofy name. D yeah. Oh, now hold on a second. Okay, let's yeah. take it. Let's take a little by look. I'm a little overwhelmed. Okay. All right, okay. Right. First of all, this is—is is this a full size? Yeah. I guess we just I mean, got was, bigger. Yeah, that was standard size. This is phenomenal. This is this is a 40 year old diaper I'm holding. <laughs> I'm not even, and it's in pristine condition. Yeah, I mean, you didn't really take those things outside or anything. You wow. know, they, they kind of stayed in one piece. And it's actually a diaper. Yeah. Is his ass signed? It is. His ass is signed. And this says 1984 on the ass. Wow. Wow. The, I just called it a 40 year old diaper. It is a 40 year old to That's, the, to you the nailed year it diaper. Right on the head. Yeah. I, brought, I definitely brought that to school once or twice. Yeah. He's got, you know, he's got some wear and tear on him. But other than that, he's in, decent he's in shape. good shape. He's in you decent shape. Now, there's two certificates, though. <laughs> I can't stop looking at him. I'm watching you look at him. I, 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 can't, I can't stop looking at him. <laughs> so they give, you, they give you a birth certificate. His eyes are close together. Look at this. They give you a birth certificate and an adoption certificate that you can put your own information on. Yes. So my... Oh, this is amazing, bro. This is... There it is. Can it's I, certified. Can we, it? can, we, can I read it? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> When do go, what do we want to do first? Uh, you can read the... Uh, 
Okay. Oh my God. All right. So. <laughs> I, mean, I, know the name is, name. I know the name's it's a, nuts. It's a dope name. I know. <laughs> my, my guy was Haywood Thurman. Well, that was my sister's. I forget my name. All right. So this this his name is Darwin Irvin. Yeah. Darwin Irvin. Darwin it, is pretty cool. Yeah, it and sounds like a, like a professor Irvin. or something. His birthday is November 1st. So on November 1st, this guy's gonna be 40. Here's Let's his see. actual say, pants. On, on the third, I'll be 39. Is that right? Yeah. He's, he was born, you guys may have been born in the same patch. <laughs> <laughs> full name, family history, full name, Xavier Roberts, birthplace, Cleveland. This mofo's out of Cleveland? Uh, date, October 31st, 1955. Oh, so Xavier Roberts is still only 69 years old. Wait, who are you reading? I thought uh, it was Darwin. So this, that? No, this just seems That's like it's the Xavier family Xavier Roberts, like from, bio. Uh, the guy that created the oh, dolls. Got it, got it. Let's look at this. He's I know, got, I got confused for a second. Wait, wait a second. I'm sorry. Is this the footprint, thumb, thumb, foot, thumbprints and footprints of Darwin Irvin or <laughs> Xavier Roberts? Let me see. Let me Bur see. Birthplace, Atlanta, Georgia, February 23, 1954. Well, how do you like that? He just turned, he was actually born 20. So, so a few, a couple months ago, was his 70th birthday. Happy birthday, Xavier Yeah, that's Xavier, Xavier Roberts. Robert. That's a copy. On the back, it's a copy of Xavier Roberts' actual birth certificate. Yeah, you could tell that uh, yeah. identity theft wasn't a thing back then. Yeah. yeah. He's got his fingerprints on this thing yeah. and everything. Uh, Darwin Irvin, born November 1st. Now, let's see Joe's adoption papers here. Mm -hmm. uh, signature of the adoption officer, the chief of staff, again, Xavier Roberts. <laughs> Official adoption certificate, oath of adoption. In front of another person... Joe, did, do you recall if you've done this? Would you like to renew your vows with him? Do, I, I got to be honest with you. I don't remember ever having to go somewhere to fill that out, but clearly we went somewhere and it was like officially stamped. Like, look at the, how neat the stamping it's is of my home gold, address. It's got a gold foil steel, uh, seal. Right. And then everything on here is literally printed out. I think I think you, like, mailed that in and yeah, they, did. like, stamped it for you or yeah, whatever. Yeah, for yeah. For sure. Um, why don't we renew... Okay. Your your adoption with him. Let's okay. Do it. Okay. Here we go. In front of another person, please raise your right hand and say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready for this? Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. And if you if you're at home and you have a cabbage patch and you want to just pause this, go get him, and uh, you could just insert your name here and you could do the vows with them and renew your adoption <laughs> at home. <laughs> All right. Ready? Here we go. In front of another person, raise your right hand and say, I'm. <laughs> I promise to love my Cabbage Patch Kid. I promise to love my Cabbage Patch Kid. With all my heart. With all my heart. I promise to be a good and kind parent. I promise to be a good and kind parent. I will always remember. I will always remember. How special. How special. My Cabbage Patch Kid is to me. My Cabbage Patch Kid is to me. Joe, I hereby certify on this day of whatever it is that you are now <laughs> readopted with Darwin Irwin. Irvin. Okay. And he has a new home here now today. Here he is. Welcome to the studio, Darwin. Those are his original pants. Let's put him back in his original pants, right, the blue right. ones. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I feel like I'm running a nursery right now. This, uh, is, this is really, really funny. Well, dude. this went over as, as big as I hoped it would. This is, I mean, I mean, because you brought, this is, un, this is unreal. You brought, you brought I got artifacts. More. I got something else. <laughs> You have more. I got something else. This must be like a, it must be my birthday today. This is very fun for me. Who wants a sister? <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God! Oh my God! My mind is blown. I have no balls. I have no balls. My balls are off. My balls are blown off. You held a sister in check. This dude, let me tell you, that was is my mom's cabbage no, patch. No, she, she got, got one got for herself. She gave it. <laughs> what, it, 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 like, it, did yeah. she get it for her because she thought it was like? Why did she? Why did your mom get a cabbage patch kid? Didn't ask any questions. Okay, because it was like it was all the rage, and she's like, I want in on the fun. I want in on the on the fever, the hoopla. I would or was she like, I want to get one so you can have a girl, and even though you won't want a girl, I want you have a boy and a girl. I honestly don't know. Or did she want to turn I, it over and make a profit? I, no, no, no. She didn't want to make a profit. Uh, she definitely had this. Like it, this was sat. This sat on our couch as a, when I was a kid. I remember. It was oh like an my ornament. god! Let me see this bitch. And <laughs> I got her certificate too. Oh my god, dude! This is crazy. This is. They look like they're related. They really do. And well, notice the condition of your mom's cabbage yeah. patch kid. Hers never left Her, the house. Yeah. I mean, that is a mint condition cabbage yeah, patch. This kid. this guy has seen some shit. This guy, yeah. he's been in the ditch. This yeah, guy. he's been yes. in the ditch yeah. without question. Yeah, this this his sister has watched from the window. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This She's, is fascinating. Now, I think my mom made that bib for her. 
Like, wow. I don't think that bib came with her. I think my mom made wow. that. Wow, that's something else. My mom used to cross stitch like nobody's business. Oh, I love a good cross yeah, stitch. Yeah. yeah. So, and I, these are her socks, I think. That's why I thought you had infant socks on you. Yeah. <laughs> I know it would throw you off. The, this is, uh, I mean, I, I haven't held one of these things in weeks. Now her name is almost, I dare say, sort of strippery. Oh, I can't wait. Can we, all right, let's get guesses. Would it, would it be able to be guessed? No. No, okay. No, but it's, 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 it's as wild a pairing as all their names are. Okay. All their names are wild pairing. Okay. But this one's got a little bit of a sex vibe okay, to it. Okay, let me think about this. Yeah. Veronica Sin. <laughs> no, okay. no, not, no, not let's, that uh, on the nose. Let's take five guesses. Yeah, uh, <laughs> ch uh, Chastity Williams. Closer, but no. <laughs> Closer? <laughs> Closer than, than sin, yeah. Okay, Whatever okay. Said. Okay. I'm going to put her socks on while you guess. Oh, please do. Trev, can you do me a favor? <laughs> now coming. Can you put scene. on uh, Darwin Irvin's original pants, please? <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm gonna th I'm gonna guess. Give me okay. Give me the first initials of the first and last. C G C G. Okay. <laughs> All right. C G. I got ready. Yes. Karina glitter. No, it would never be a word like glitter. <laughs> I it's know. always two first. I know, names. but you said the. I know, but it's I always want... two first names. Yeah, the the names are always. Oh. It's usually two. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, never, it's never it's never like something Johnson. Okay, you know, then okay, okay. So ready, uh, Courtney Gale. Very good. No, but but very good. Is her first name Cherry? <gasps> no, but close. <laughs> That's right. the closest anybody's. Okay, come. I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh huh. Charisma George. No, very good though. You ready? W w will it be okay for me to keep guessing until the end? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun, and I really feel like I can. I love, you know, I just feel like, it, wouldn't it be something if we guessed? Yeah. This, where can I put this? Up your ass and to the left. Oh, that's, come on. All right. You sit up here, buddy. Let me know if you, <laughs> let me know if you need anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Joe, she hit her head. You're supposed to sign the, get the birth certificate. The you never did. This is what we make it official today. You're going to sign it today. The, uh, I noticed you brought the peanut butter back with you this week. <laughs> Still haven't finished it. Oh, I yeah, you, I forgot. I noticed you brought it back with you. I have my peanut butter again. And I'm just coincidentally wearing the same, same sweatshirt. Listen, ready for the name? I, I went for the change of clothes. So I, I'll put a little effort in. You've, <laughs> are you ready for the name? No, I want to guess again. How about, all right, ready? Camille. No. Nope. All right, let's go name by name. They're two first names, right? So just hit me with the C's. Yeah, did we say cinnamon? You're never going to get either oh, of that's these. that's good. I promise you, you will never guess either of but these. But you said they're two first names. I know, but I promise but that, you. Yes. Like, like, okay. All right. So Let me just give it okay, to you. Okay, all right. Give me the first name. Oh, which one's... Let me just give you the whole name. Because uh, it's it's escorty. <laughs> okay. It's got an escorty vibe. Oh, really? Now you yeah, make you want to guess even Candace. more, though. <laughs> no, ready? Caviar. No. Ready? Yeah. Cash Genevieve. It's a little. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. It's a little. That's escorty, awesome. No? Cash Gen and she's born a month early on October first. I noticed something when I got these. A lot of times their birthdays were like the first of the month, or like yeah, yeah. you know, like a, a lot of it was like that. I don't know why, but maybe the patch only blossoms on the first. <laughs> Cass Genevieve. Cass Genevieve. Hold on, I'm just putting all of his clothes. There was somebody whose job it was. <laughs> To ha to have a database, yeah, right, yeah. Did they did they say that um that no they didn't never said no two names were the same, right? So they could yeah. no they did, no 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 that's that's no absolutely two, part maybe of it. that's why they're so eclectic the names yeah, yeah, yeah. so no two so there's no other cabbage patch kid named Cash Cash Genevieve there can't be because no two are the same I would love. I would love to out Xavier Roberts right now and find out like if, <laughs> if there's two. Imagine like she might have a she might have a relative she doesn't know about. I mean, <laughs> there could be a, a Genevieve if they're out there now, listening. Maybe there's another Genevieve. Yeah, yeah Genevieve, the <laughs> Genevieve and the Irvin family. If you're out there, we have your children, your cousins, and some. Um. No oh, snap. My only guess is that my dad and mom crafted me a camouflage <laughs> outfit because at some point I wanted to kind of man up the doll. 
Yeah, you would now you were taken out in the woods and you wanted to <laughs> hide from the big kids. <laughs> Something, right? Uh so question. Let's go back to let's let's call it on Etch a Sketch Star Wars so I can put up the poll yeah. for the championship. Oh sh where where we at, Stevie on time? Um thirty one, but okay. the, but the but the stuff that I'm cutting out is probably like five minutes. So okay. call it twenty five okay. minutes. Okay, so let's let's right, get let's, let's get, get a final okay, let's call it let's on. get a final final here to know what the uh the championship is. All right, it held strong. Oh, it actually lost a step. Etch a sketch gained right. a little bit, but after three thousand votes, Star Wars is eking it out at at fifty one point eight to forty eight point two percent. Yes, that's for me. I think this is going to be a. This is probably the closest battle. Man, I, I'm I'm I don't know what else more to say. Really, it just it's a testament well, to the etch a sketch. Yeah, it's a, it, it's or it's, to, it's, to to Star Wars's uh, hatred. It's a testament to, but notice what I put though. Remember, you're voting based on the 80s. Yeah. And, uh, no, I know, but. Are... All right, let's get the poll out. The All final right. poll, the final battle. This is it. This is the meeting of two titans. This is the Rock versus Hogan, Hogan versus Andre the Giant, the thriller Kong ver versus thriller, Zilla, the thriller in Manila, Thrill of Manila, Michael <laughs> Jackson's thriller versus Michael Jackson Bad. This is it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it is. Michael Good Jackson one. songs. <laughs> All right. Hold on. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a real good one. That's a real good one. Michael Jackson tournament song of songs. That's a real good one. You know, one. just just talking about the art. That's the a real artist. good one. Mint, folks, mint, mint, mint. After years of the fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch, isn't there? There is a catch. And when I heard that for a limited time, all Mint Mobile wireless plans, $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, I said, come on, come on, gang, what's the catch here? There wasn't one. After talking to them, it all made sense. There's no catch. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they sell wireless service online. They cut the cost of retail stores and pass the sweet savings where? To the customer, to you. So you're going to say goodbye to the overpriced wireless plans and the jaw-dropping monthly bills, okay? Mint Mobile, they're here to rescue you with premium wireless plans that are starting at 15 bucks a month. And I got to tell you, folks, it's not like, you know, you're losing quality or something like that because you're getting a good deal. The service is fantastic, okay? And the savings are amazing. That's that's it. In a nutshell, you're getting quality for a very, very amazing price. And that's why Mint Mobile is pretty great. All right. All the plans come with high speed data, unlimited talk and text delivered uh, on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone, by the way, with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number and uh, along with your existing contacts and all that stuff. Just ditch the overpriced wireless and get Mint Mobile's limited time deal. All right, three months of premium wireless service for 15 bucks a month. To get this new customer offer and your new three month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash taste buds. That's mintmobile.com slash taste buds. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash taste buds. $45 upfront payment required, which is equivalent to $15 per month. New customers. On first three month plan only, speeds slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Let's talk prize picks. What is it? Prize picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You must pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch the winnings roll in. That's all it is, guys. If you don't know anything about sports or you don't really understand spreads or whatever, it's, it, it doesn't really matter. It's just it's just fun. It makes it makes watching any game more fun because you have something to basically root for. You know, essentially, um, I'm not a, a, a big sports gambler, but something like prize picks, I do indulge in here and there because, like I said, it just if I'm spending a full day watching football, I just go into the app, make a couple of bets. And then at the end of the day, there's been times I've won 70, 80 bucks and I'm like, oh, that's great. It paid for my lunch and uh, and my dinner. <laughs> um, 
here, like you want to play alongside some of Price Picks' favorite players, like Meek Mill and Sugar Sean O'Malley, you can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Price Picks community each week. So that's kind of cool. You can check out uh, what other big name people are playing. Basketball season's almost over, so I'm getting my last licks in there. This is how easy it is, right? Kevin Durant, more than 22 points, and I had Trey Young, more than eight assists. That's it. I won on that. That's as simple as it is. Really cool. Download the app today and use code TASTEBUDS for a first deposit match of up to $100. Okay, download the app today. Use code TASTEBUDS for a first deposit match of up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Folks, do you like DoorDash? I love DoorDash. That's why I want to talk to you about DoorDash. I like DoorDash. Why? Well, they're dashing the food right to my door. Okay, I'm on the road a lot. I'm often having to order meals to the hotel room. Pre-show, post-show, sometimes meals to bring to the show. Sometimes when I get back from the road, I'm tired from traveling. I want to get something delicious. I want to get it quick. I want it hot. I want it convenient. DoorDash. They really, really, really come in handy. Do you want zero dollar delivery fees? Then try Dash Pass by DoorDash. Dash Pass by DoorDash is great. I use it myself. Okay. Are you looking to save on the deliveries? Dash Pass. This is your door to $0 delivery fees and savings that you can't get. You're not getting them anywhere else. Exclusive membership. It's going to get you unlimited $0 delivery fees on eligible orders. All right. Uh, and members only deals and discounts. Okay. And by the way, there's more than just food that you want from your favorite restaurants. There's groceries. There's, there's, I order sometimes from the pharmacy and stuff. You know what? DoorDash comes in real handy. When you're sick, if you're home alone sick and you need some stuff from the pharmacy and you don't really want to get up and trudge to a pharmacy when you have a when you have a fever or something, DoorDash is really covering a lot of the bases here. And with these zero dollar delivery fees and the lower service fees on eligible orders, DashPass will make it easy for you to save when you're buying items and, and, and goods and whatever from these restaurants and grocery stores and all your local favorites. So get more from delivery for less with Dash Pass, zero dollar delivery fees and reduced service fees on eligible DoorDash orders. Sign up for Dash Pass today and get your first 30 days free if you're a new member. Subject to change, terms apply. Open the door to zero dollar delivery fees and savings you can't get anywhere else. Sign up for Dash Pass today, only on DoorDash, and get your first 30 days free. If you're a new member, subject to change, terms apply. Again, get $0 delivery fees on eligible orders with Dash Pass, and new members get a 30-day free trial. Terms apply. Sign up today. So we started out with 16 Titans. We have come down to what we hoped would happen, which is two of the top tier of even the top tiers that we all selected just to begin with. Now, what we might do, we're kicking around the idea, is we might do a 90s bracket of toys Sweet 16, just like we did with this. And then the winner of that would face off against the winner of this. Yeah. Uh, but we won't do 90s right now. We'll, but, we'll, yeah, but we might do that at some point. But for now, we're focused on the 80s toys. And here we are, folks. This is the dance. Our final matchup, Lego versus Star Wars. And in this, now, we did not count wins or loses for Sal or myself throughout this bracket, this right. entire Sweet 16. But now, we are choosing a side. I am taking Team Star Wars. Sal is taking Team Lego. You are probably going to win, but I am fighting with my heart here. You never know. You never know. Because God, 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 do I hate Legos. And with that in mind, it's time to B-A-T-T-L-E, buds. Legos suck. They just suck, man. They suck. I mean, they suck. They're the biggest toy going right now. But why? Why? Is innovation it the, the continued nerdification of this culture we live in it's, where it's innovative and it's and it's also it's 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 uh it's now assimilated itself with pop culture and nostalgia all in the same so it's it's relevant and it's and it's and it, and it's it's also um can be enjoyed by all ages i think adults love it. it's just a, it's a puzzle you know and it's a puzzle of varying degrees and uh it's varying puzzle, themes though. it's not a puzzle it's a project. It's a P. It is something. But like here's that. the thing, man. Here's the thing. I think Legos represent. I don't want to put too fine a point on it. I think they represent everything wrong with our society as a toy because it's a puzzle that's not a puzzle. It's a project 
It's a project where they tell you exactly what to do. It's paint by numbers. With, it's with paint by numbers. Blocks. It's everything taking you by the but, hand. But it's fascinating. The Lego the, music, the Lego movies take all these things that are really cool and really iconic and have a lot of edge and just make them cute and funny and harmless. Can I tell you one of my favorite? Yeah, um, I just Lego's doing a lot that I don't appreciate. One of right my favorite, now. like uh, I think it was like GameCube games, maybe was Star Wars Lego. Yeah, it was. I had it. They converged. That I had was fun. It. it was okay. That lightsaber was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. But you get my point. Yeah, but I it's think like Lego is like you're in the movie. There's no real it, danger. No, you, a person could die, but doesn't die. But can I say something? There Everything's are got a joke. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? There are different skill levels, right? Uh, they, they sell them in different skill levels, and they are challenging. So in that way, they are a puzzle. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't, can't like figure something out or you miss something up. You got to go back. It takes time. It takes precision. It takes concentration and focus. And at the end, you do feel a sense of gratification, satisfaction, and accomplishment. And you do feel at least like, you know, you get the feeling like you created something because you did, you know, and you, it makes you have a sense of like, like you're an artist in, in a way. You know? I think that, you know, when I was in art, when I was in high school, the art teacher would say, uh, "You know, th th like so like sometimes the students they would they would copy a thing, they'd look at something and recreate it over here." And the art teacher would say, "It's not look. It doesn't mean that what you just did didn't take skill, but it's not art when you're recreating something somebody else did. Real art is your own thing that you create." Yeah, but whatever, you, right? Yeah, but Lego it, has that built in. But what I'm saying is, is that to me, Lego, That's the original Lego, Lego is the version of that that I'm talking about. Where it's like, it's like you're not creating your Lego has drifted far away from the create your own thing. It is very much now like we're not talking about make the replica. I'm talking about it back then. Okay, yeah, back then right, there were right. little building sets, not anywhere near what they have now. There were two kinds. There were the building sets that were smaller. You know, you general like you know ship whatever it was like you know there were there were like the the nation's building sets of lego at least from when we were around but uh you have the open-ended creativity the blank canvas you have with the original building blocks and that was my version of 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 the lego i found uh as a depressed child which i was mm -hmm. i didn't need a box a bucket of bricks to be laid in front of me telling me you figure it out what mm -hmm. i needed was to be swept away into another universe and nothing could do that like Star Wars, aside from Masters of the Universe, which I went hard yeah. to paint for. Star Wars was 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 you 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 are becoming a different person for the time you're playing with this. There are play sets, there are ships. At the very least, there are amazing fun action figures that you can take outside and go in the, the dirt with and pretend you're on Endor or whatever. That's so true. And I, I had them all too. But let me just counterpoint that. Uh yes, you had a you had your a built in uh, you had a built-in lineage franchise and storyline in the Star Wars movies and lore, but I, Legos had their version of everything you just said. They had little Lego figures. They had they had vehicles. They had yeah, but the figure was like a like a crosswalk but, guard. But but depending on what the figure was like a crossing guard or like a like a like right. a meter made. It was but, never anything. But, fun. But I'm talking about the broad concept of what you said, right? Depending on what age you were in the '80s when you played with them, that could check you know itch the same scratch for you, right? You well, still could get creative in that way with them. You could take them in the dirt. They had I'm sure they had bulldozers and here's things like the, that. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. See, I disagree with you there. Legos never to me felt rugged enough that you could take them outside or do anything with them. Legos, to me, screamed, go sit in your room and stare at a wall while you do this by yourself. Like, it was never... Star Wars was... You might have been projecting on stay, your but, but Star Wars, you know how it is. Star Wars, you, you, look, Christmas Day, afternoon Christmas Day, all your of friends course. have opened your presents, your friends are allowed to come over and see what you got, you go to their oh, house... Christmas Vegas. morning, Star Wars, the, creams, creams Legos. There was no, check out my new Legos, it was like, look at this, look at this world we can step into, as KRS-One yeah. once said. The, uh, it's, 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 it's just, it was <laughs> just no contest. And Star Wars is like taking the figures and going into something to create something, whereas Legos to me was very much like, dump them out on your bed, you're yeah. by yourself... You know, you know, it's it's like, it's actually a good final battle because they're completely different. Yeah, they're different conceptually. They're, they're so different, but yet think about the simplicity of the Lego 
especially the 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 ones that are just free form like the simplicity and the lasting power it's almost like sometimes simpler is better you know what i mean and sometimes like you know you're you got to do the work up here you know what i'm saying with your imagination and that's all you really need it depends on like where you want to go with it well i will say this as far as the type of toy that star wars was they were pretty simple they were a simple version of of a, of a of a elaborate thing you know other toy, G.I. Joe, for instance, to me, it got very elaborate. There was this thing that shot a missile, and you had to put this thing into here, and mm -hmm. if that wasn't lined up right, the thing wouldn't fire right, and and, and this guy had a, a sash and a sword and yeah. a gun, and yeah. it was a lot. Uh, oh, man, and also, they sold heavy artillery with that. Yeah, and also, too, the, uh, what was that called? The, um, how you can... Hovercraft? No, no, no. The way you can move the... Articulation? Articulation. The articulation of the figures, even. That was, and they... Yeah, that was really good, man. They, right. But, they even had like, they had way more points of articulation. Right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is Star Wars. How far did that get them? Star, Star Wars, no points of articulation. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, the ships didn't really shoot anything or anything. Like the yeah. TIE fighter that I, I stole my TIE fighter, you pressed a button, the wing shot off. But it, it is true. The, the, very simple. The Dagobah playset, I just rewatched a commercial for it on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. There was a foam swamp that you could shove your guy in like he was sinking. That's amazing. There was a little thing you could stand him on that, that where you could make it move like he was doing the I lightsaber. I still have my Rancor monster. I have my Jabba the Hutt Very playset. Simple. I have the tat I have the, uh, uh, the, uh, what's the band that played in the, t in the, the band that played in, uh, the Moss Eisley. Wait, I, uh, or do you mean the, the Cantina side? Band? Yeah, the Cantina Band. The Cantina Band or the had Sly Snoodles Band? Can Cantina Band, the guy, <laughs> the, the guy with the circular that's, organ. That's that's the Sly Snoodles Band. Oh, okay. The Cantina Band is from the first movie. Dun, 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 that's the Cantina Band. The Sly Snoodles Band is the blue guy with the thing yeah. with the piano. He played in Jabba's Palace. Yeah, but then it was like a puffy. singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's Sly okay. Snoodles. Well, I, ha I have or all that. Sly Snoodles. Oh, and the, I have my Jabba. We, we should put him up here, dude. The Jabba with that little who's that little monkey he comes with again? Uh, 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 um, uh, yeah. Have him. Oh, for Christ's sake! It comes Wait. with a hookah. I mean, the, yeah. I mean, it's a child's toy. It comes with a hookah. I would. Jabba's smoking a cigarette and has a female slave. I would. Uh, ages three and up. I would. Buy, <laughs> I would buy that Jabba from you. It's not for sale. Well, Cr salacious, everything has a price. Salacious crumb. That sounds it. like a fucking cabbage patch kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, salacious crumb is a great name for a band. Yeah. First of all, a yeah. punk band, yeah. or even even a podcast, or honestly, an alias. Yeah, salacious <laughs> crumb is. I. That's a great. I name. think it's one of the best Star Wars names yeah. that there is. That's a great one. Salacious crumb Ooh. is. That's a good. I would. I would name that at my. I would give them my MC name. That's what I'm saying. MC look, Salacious Crumb. Look how. <laughs> yo, that is so That's good. good. <laughs> look how jazzed you are right now about a name. This is what I mean by why Star Wars is better. Just the name of the character. You. You. It puts you. It's like. It's like when an actor goes. Once I had the makeup on, I just became sure. him. That's what Star but, Wars toys were. Right, you. You became the thing. Let me make a. Let me make a point. Okay. So, of course. This is going to be true, right? Because Star Wars was for an older set, right? And so you're more development, you're more developed, and your mind is more developed, and so you have more, you know, you have more insight. You have more. You're able to reciprocate with the toys. You're able to communicate. You're able to imagine more. You you you're growing. You're developed, right? So these are going to resonate with you more than the Legos did. But if you took yourself back, like it's not an even scale because like the Legos are geared toward kids that are you know five, six, seven. And then, like, the Star Wars was more geared toward, like, you know, you know, nine, 10, 11, 12, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you're, you're going at it with your 12 year old mind and you're comparing Star Wars toys to the Legos because you can't get back to your no, four year old, five I wasn't year old 12, mind. 12. We weren't 12. Okay, let's just Star say Wars. five and we, 10. 10. You know, but you know the point I'm trying to but make? I, but yeah, I do, but I, but I think it's the exact opposite. You can't, you I can't. played with Star Wars toys when I was five, six, seven, yeah. eight. Five, six, seven, eight, as Bob Foss used to say. <laughs> yes. The uh, but but uh, tell me about it, Joe. <laughs> Legos, Daddy O. Legos to me were the exact opposite. They were the things that my friends started to get into when we were like 10, 11, When you were too old to play with toys, you were kind of growing. All I got to say is this: is thank Christ for Nintendo. Nintendo landed right when I needed it to because I had friends that weren't allowed to have Nintendo and you'd go to their house and you were too old to play with toys and guess who you played with? 
Legos. Yeah. It was when you got Nintendo it was when, cleared the playing field. Yeah, it was when toys had to suddenly be like, well, I'm too old to play with kids' things. I need an educational, constructive toy that shows my work that I've done with my... Uh, I didn't do that. There were little connects, man. those connects things and stuff. I never got into All that, that shit. All that man, nah. robotics. Give me a mad and, ball any day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's robotics, why Nintendo, I never got into that. Nintendo landed at the right time. Right when we were too old for Star Wars toys and G.I. Joe, we got Nintendo. What year did you get your Nintendo? I was... Was it fifth we, grade or seventh grade? No, dude. Seventh mom, grade mom was way seventh. later at that point. Yeah, no, no. We were no, no, no. You, you mom was fi mom was fifth grade. No. Oh, wait a minute. No, mom no, was I'm seventh sorry. grade. Mom I'm was, sorry. You, you might be right. Seventh, seventh grade. grade. Okay. I'm I, older. I'm hold a on. year older than you. Super Nintendo. No, actually, you're not right. Hold on. Uh, but I'm older than you. You're a little bit older than me. Right. Yeah. So okay. I but think mom was. You're only a year older than. Not even. But Super Nintendo. I, think I got mine in seventh grade. Super Nintendo came out. I remember this when we were seniors in high school. Super Nintendo was like done. Yeah, because I had Genesis. Done. I had Genesis as a freshman or, or sophomore. I was well, big into NHL. EA just Sports. came. Just came out a couple of, first. Yeah, but my point is, when I say Super Nintendo was done, what well, Super Nintendo? What right. I mean by that timeline wise was the new systems were about to drop. Donkey Kong Country came out when I was a senior in high school, and that was one of the late phase games of yeah. of uh, or later phase games of Super Nintendo, and it was like. It was about to be done. Nintendo 64, all that shit was about to hit when we were freshmen in college. So yeah. uh, so 12th, I'm just trying to do the math. 64, yeah. Systems yeah. have about a five-year lifespan. Super Nintendo came out when we were, when I was in eighth grade, maybe you were in ninth. So yeah. somewhere in there. And then that means that Nintendo came out. I got my Nintendo probably fifth grade, somewhere in there. Yeah, maybe sophomore, but yeah. So I, you know, I'm in seventh. So yeah, I, I tell you this. I have, and we probably talked about this, and I probably showed you, but I have all of my Nintendo games, all of my Nintendo accessories and everything in the original boxes, everything. Yeah. I, I have the price tag me, on my Nintendo. Yeah, seventy nine. They're, they're, in a, they're in a closet. Yeah. Well, well, in my house. Yes. Yeah. Why will you not sell them to me? Where I will display them beautifully in my game room that I've Wait, put together? Wait, you want to buy my Jabba the Hutt or my Nintendo? I want all of it. You want to come in my house and you want to just throw money at me and take all my yep. goods. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. All right, well, yes, let's, I do. let's talk price. I'm, no, I'm, you can't put a price on my childhood. There, I can. I well, can and I will. All right. So <laughs> <let's>, <laughs> I have the, pri the price we put, tag. We put a price on childhood. We proved tag, it with these dolls. Seven, I, got, I remember because I, remember I, I, I used confirmation money, I believe, for seventy nine ninety nine, dollars And I, you know, I got the Nest Advantage still. I got the gun. We all have to do, we have to do... Can you help me out? With what? I want to hook up all my systems at once. I don't know how... I, I know you can do it, but it's it's a task, you right? You can, but you cannot do it with the flat screen TV. You're going to have lag, and it's going to be Really? Shitty. You're going to have lag? Yes. Yeah, but there's not a... There's not a... I could pay a couple extra bucks for some monster, like some gold-plated bullshit. There's one thing that's cost about... There's a, there's a device called... I forget, I forget the brand of it, but there's an upscaling device. It costs about $400... And it's going to allow and me to do everything. You could upscale to your TV, but 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 it's 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 a little complicated. It's it's probably something so you're not going to want to so, deal so, with. So 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 what? So I have what a room. era of system, right? Here's what, what era of system. I'm telling you what you do. Yeah. I have a room. Because I'll get I, a tube. I bought tube TVs for it. Yeah, and I have a couple really nice tube TVs, and I hooked the old systems into that. You need to have a designated area, and you look. You could plug your Nintendo. You could get a conversion from 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 RCA to HDMI, or your your flat screen might even have RCAs in it, depending yeah, on how old yeah. it is. And you can plug it in, but and 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 on first glance and whatever you're going to say, that's fine. The gun won't work with it. The gun will not work with ah. it, the gun. Only works with the tube TV. Interesting. And yet, first glance, thank you go, God you told me I would have spent the whole night just shooting at the television yeah. and losing. <laughs> you. Uh, you will, you will, you will at first glance say everything's fine, but then you'll be playing, and and after a little while, you're meaning half hour, whatever, you're going to be like, God damn it! Like I hit jump. Like That's why annoying. is it not? And you're going to start to notice there's a lag, yeah. and like it doesn't play right, and it's going to be frustrating, and it's going to ruin the experience for you. All right, I believe you. I'm telling. What you. is that squeaking? You hear that? No. <laughs> Let's go to the polls here. Let's go to the phones. I'm going to reserve selling anything right now. All right. That's fine. Just know that it would make one of your best friends on earth extraordinarily happy to purchase these things from you. 
Or you could keep them in a closet. Yeah. Or you should know it would make one of your best friends on earth extraordinarily sad to part with them. Would it though? Yes. Would it though? The only reason that I, they're not out and about is because I don't have the capacity. Oh, you got the capacity. I've seen. You no, just I, don't want it. You just don't. No, I don't have the capacity for a tube television it. in my life right now. <laughs> I know. Listen, you didn't know about tube TV, so I just brought them up. You could have had these goddamn games out displayed beautifully for, for years now. You've got, I trust me. Uh, I don't have the room. You, you got 67 Impractical Joker bobbleheads out on a fucking shelf. You, you need those out? I don't have, I have <laughs> one of myself. <laughs> I have one of myself, you've and it's got out this, because it, he looks like a Dominican landlord and doesn't look uh, like me. You've got the Seinfeld miniature out. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. If it were me, it'd be the box Nintendo games out. You mean put out the Nintendo games in their boxes and that's what's there? What do you what Oh, like what, almost like a like a bookshelf? What are you not getting about this? Yeah, but that was my whole but yeah, I but want you think them, that's better than a than a replica of Seinfeld's apartment on a shelf? Yeah, it, to me it is. That's why I'm saying it would make me happy yeah, to buy it. I'm these not gonna put out like a, 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 a an excite bite box instead of a, 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 well, a, a I would a limited edition Seinfeld. Well, I would. I have a room devoted to this stuff and okay. it would be awesome. All right. I'm all just right. telling you. All right, I'll, all right. I'll tell it to you. All right. Uh, all right, let's go to the phones. What do we got here for the poll? Right now, we're at 2,000 votes, which is enough. Uh, Legos really do unlock the full scope of your imagination. See, that's what we were saying. Lego is going to take it all. Star Wars toys are cool. I still have my son's Star Wars toys, but I have to go with Legos. Legos are the best toy ever. Before Minecraft, we had Lego. Lego wow. is the building... Jesus Christ, dude. Lego is the building block of life. Star Wars is making mouth sounds playing with action figures. It's fun to yell, I use the force on you. See, I don't like this. Hands. Nicholas, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm it's sorry. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm no, sorry. It was then, I'm just reading. Nicholas's the, comment bothers me. Nicholas, we said it doesn't matter about that they have Legos as Star Wars he games. He heard us say that. He's just commenting on Twitter. <laughs> but we I hate guess. Nicholas. We hate him. As a toy <laughs> Lego, as a theme, Star Wars, put those bad boys together. We have a juggernaut on our hands. <laughs> sorry, hun. I know lightsabers are cool. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> wait, 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 scroll down. <laughs> Poll is irrelevant. <laughs> With a macho man. <laughs> wait, he's got some glaze on him. Yeah. Huh? That's, really That's not funny. the original rubber figure. I don't know no, what he, figure that like is. There's like a coat of lacquer on it. Yeah, that looks like it was that looked like it was baked in clay and <laughs> lacquered. Oh, lacquer is a fun word, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I, I like I like a, la a good lacquer. Yeah. I never said the word lacquer and not liked it as I said it. Yeah. It's it's not it's not even a, you know how you say most words you say you don't even think about yeah when lacquer is said I take note <laughs> I, I don't understand okay look Lego we we've seen enough of the foot Lego is I mean, it's this Lego is, this Lego is Lego Lego I I don't understand guys who we, we do we have a young audience oh that's smart let's go that's that's but where clever. were we where, where were all where are all the Star Wars votes <laughs> that brought it through four wins in a row I don't understand there's some in here but. Star Wars is gayer than ISIS. <laughs> that's not me. That's Josh Walters. I can't get Lego with Star Wars action figures. I can get Star Wars minifigures with Lego. Yeah, in the 2000s, not in the 80s. God damn it, man. I was going to say Lego my ego. That was their big thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lego will win because your grown ass nerd audience still plays with them. I know, Spooky that's, Beach. That's we asked, a more we asked fair. Everyone, yeah, yeah, I know. But I understand Legos are more popular, but it's fucking Star Wars enough said. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, all right, let's just go to the vote. Let's just, it, it, Lego's going to take all right, it. Tumble pie, drum roll it God out. Damn it. Let's do it, baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. I mean, come on, Thousands guys. of votes are in. Rice-A-Roni chose Star Wars, and uh, we got a Lego one. Come on, guys. For a championship match. This is like when you buy like a UFC pay-per-view, and it's, it's, it's a knockout <laughs> yeah, in like the yeah, first two <laughs> seconds. And you're like, These oh. are the toy. Star Wars are the toy that changed merchandising. Like, stop it with this. Lego. Stop it with Lego this. Lego has a considerable victory here. 73.9%. To twenty six point one percent, man. So I wonder if Lego was not in the tournament, who who would have who would have taken this thing? Star Wars. You think so? Yes. Star Wars versus Barbie would have been Star Wars versus Etch a Sketch. It seems like for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah. But I, now I want to know. And now I kind of just want to start having matches between people. <laughs> <laughs> who the hell loves Legos? This but see, this bothers me. 
This is not Lego based on the 80s. This is yeah. Lego voting based on now. This it's is, based on Lego World and Lego is, Land and have, the Lego TV show and Lego whatever. Nobody to blame but ourselves. We put it in and we made no distinction until today. And even if you do on Twitter, people aren't, the nuance isn't there. They're just, you're going to have the. the there is no way in the 1980s as a young kid. If you were presented with a thousand dollars worth of Star Wars toys and a thousand dollars worth of worth of uh, uh, Legos, you would have g- lost your mind over the Lego. There's no way. I would have killed a kitten for some of those Star Wars toys. <laughs> it's nuts. Yeah, I mean, especially those when they when they those like the Millennium Falcon and the Ad Ats and all that stuff. It's like it's wild. All right, I feel it feels like a it, it feels for me. This feels like a little bit underwhelming. <sighs> After all that. Well, Lego moves on into whatever the next thing may be. Yeah. But which is interesting, and here's why. I know, man. I feel like Lego is juicing. <laughs> I know. I feel I like do it's too. taken I do uh, too. PEDs. But it's a win for you. Enjoy it. Yeah, but I, I don't feel good about the win. I don't feel good about it either. This is this is not just sore You have to have some type of rectification here. Uh, but I will tell you this. What's interesting about Lego now taking the 80s win, I think if we did a 90s bracket, the 90s bracket could be now all game related instead of toy related. So it could be, hear me out, Sega Genesis, Nintendo, Pokemon. It could because 90s were the the, the decade of but games. A game, an electronic gaming system does not but, fit in a toy bracket. But you put you can do an electronic but, gaming system. There's given another the one. Style, There's another one, babe. That's another one. What? It's a whole other tournament. But, but listen Gaming to me. systems. Given the style of toy that Lego is, I think it could actually go against a video game system because of what you get out of. Yeah, but you're going to throw Nintendo in with slime? You know, like what are you going to... You got a thing that grown adults play with, Legos, that they love since they were kids, Legos. You got another thing grown adults play with, video games. Retro video games that they played with when they were kids. Retro video. I, I think it actually does make yeah, sense. I don't know. You're talking about something you plug in and use electric for to cast on your television. It's a computer. It's, what you know, did I say, though? Lego For me, Nintendo came at the right time because it was at the age when all my friends wanted to play with Legos yeah. because it wasn't like a toy anymore. Well, it, it, in a general sense, I get what you're saying. But for, for, the, for the competition, I think it's going to skew it again and like make it like weird. You're going to have like, a, uh, you know, I can't really place 90s toys off the top of my head. Right? Like, you're going to have like a, a Furby versus Genesis? No, I'm saying the 90s bracket could be all game-based. Not just video games, game based. The '90s were the decade of games. Like it was like, but what's up? What, what games other than video games? I'm sorry. I tur- well, for, right off the bat, we got Turbo Graphics 16. We got Sega Genesis. Oh, I'm saying what we games? Have, I thought you meant you say game based. You mean console based? Consoles. Oh, but no. then also you have Pokemon. You have Magic: The Gathering. Like these were these were phenomenon games. But they were not toys; they were games. Ah, uh, interesting. I mean, you can put up cards against electronics. That's of kind of interesting. And then the winner of that could go against Legos. And the given the but then type why of didn't we, yeah, then why didn't we put Game Boy in? When, when did Game Boy come out? Because we because we At went the buzzer because we went straight toys here. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. saying, given the fact that Lego took all, it could face against the '90s game, whether it's a game system or a game card game or whatever. Uh, I think that would be an interesting battle. Just a thought. It's a thought. Just a thought. It's and a thought. You've all heard the thoughts, we've and we'd like to thoughts. hear your thoughts. Folks, that is the toy bracket. Lego is the winner. Uh, Sal takes the win. Etch a sketch. Start drawing them, and take a photo and email them to no. Uh, I think it's I think it's no pressure network at Gmail. Yeah. But it'll be up on the screen here. Um. But yeah, I, I I'll take a win. I don't I don't love it, but uh. But it was it was fun like reminiscing about all these things. Was, I, I, I really it. liked it, and I actually it is inspiring like to do other tournaments. Like again, I think uh, the greatest Michael Jackson song is a good one. Yeah. And uh, and and I think a gaming system one might just be on its own a good one. It could be. Yeah. All right. But uh, I still love you, babe. Love you too.